I ship them so hard, they just need to just make out and get it over with. Cause they all- there's some serious sexual tension there. That's- that's what's going on. Oh god. What's going on here? Oh god. There we go! I want to read it, but let's activate it first, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so what incident? Are we going to figure out this incident now? Is someone going to be hanging from the top of that or something? Is that like a suicide note? I'm so... I'm, I'm like so morbid. Crickety Nutcrackers, did you guys like teleport to the wrong place? You aren't Australian. Who cares? We're like 200 billion animators off the ground and standing on a damn flagpole. First jump down, it's not like you can be heard here. Are you kidding me? It's a freaking skydive! You can't stay on here, you can't get off. God, I hate it when this happens. I swear if this place... Eva, what the? What? Okay, what's this? Why did they abandon her like this? I suppose she just no longer needed. No longer needed? By ships, I mean. You know how it is, now that everything has GPS and all that. Look, River. Is the girl the lighthouse? Is that- what? This place means a lot to me too, and I've been thinking. In our current states, things have been pretty stable. If we save well in a few years, we could afford to build a house on top of here. It's gonna be a squeeze, but I'm certain. We'll be able to see her from the window. In the morning, at night, we'll always be nearby. And we can walk here anytime. She'll never be alone again, John. Okay, yeah, so the lighthouse is her. Oh, okay, okay, this is making a little more sense now. Like, this lighthouse is like the pinnacle of their relationship, and River has this weird obsession with it, but. Maybe she's like one of those, uh, object sexuals. I just ruined the magic of the moment. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for ruining the magic of the moment. Be able to watch over her every day. Yeah, we will. Hey, sometimes you just get it. You just, you know, when your love is into weird shit, you're just like, whatever. Sometimes your lover is into, I don't know feet or something and you're like oh, okay whatever give me massages give me free massages I don't care sometimes your lovers in into lighthouses um, and you just uh, you just uh, go with it I guess I've never dated someone who's into feet so just so you know not that I would be opposed to getting free foot massages like whatever I don't fucking care I'm open to I'm open remember what happens I feel like this went weird. Like, I, I, or I make things weird, but then I make things worse. I make things more weird, and I apologize. I apologize that I'm, I'm so weird. It's like watching a train wreck. The ending isn't any more important than any of the moments leading to it. The important thing is that over here, they are happy. Let's move on. I mean, this game has kind of a weirdness vibe to it anyway, so I feel like I can't be ruining it too much by making it weird, right? We're referring to the lighthouse as Anya, weren't they? I suppose so. 
Then that river, she declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse? Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. Me too, but uh, I can never wrap my head around it. It's none of our business anyways. She's not our client. Yeah, she's a little crazy, but you know, you do crazy shit for people you love, I guess, is the, is what this, uh, I guess that's, that's what goes, goes on in life. We're going this way. No, let's go back. Go back. We need like three more. So before the house was built. It just sucks because like they, it was all about this lighthouse and like the lighthouse like I guess helped them in the romance but then it eventually like led them apart and screwed everything up. That's, that's messed up. That's messed up. Okay. God, that took me forever. It was so obscure. Let's save real quick. Okay, again. Let's go for it. Oh, this is a tricky one. That one, the one that I did earlier totally fucked up my score. Young John here. River? Okay, we're about his, um... Early adulthood, I guess. Mid-adulthood. Dear Lord, not again. So many of those rabbits. So they said it happened after an incident. So what incident caused this rabbit thing to happen? How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? Who knows, I bet I'd be a piece of cake for the TARDIS. Not really, you can't even get it through the door. Mmm, true. Well, that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the arse for everybody. I'd probably take an entire episode to get it inside. Oh, okay, uh, Doctor Who reference. I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me neither, it sounds pretty epic. Okay, what's this? Looks like it has a Swedish flag on it. New boxes of plain paper. Oh, I think I know where this is going. Yes, more bunnies. You know, bunnies are a sign of fertility, right? Like, why? What's what's going on here? You went out for that haircut. This... Bleh, why am I speaking this so loud? You went out for a haircut this early in the morning. What are you making there? Rabbits. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Uh. Describe the rabbit. Um, it was yellow. What else? A bit puffy? And? Well, it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know what else to describe it. You're acting strange, River. Is something wrong? River? I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. I think I know of her condition, but this is rather odd even for that. You think she is... Do you? Perhaps, who knows. But like you said, she's not our client. She's just what she paid 
for over with. Let's just get what we paid for over with. So they're either inferring that she's blind or that she's schizophrenic or a little bit of both. A blind schizophrenic? Mm. Or maybe she has like, um... Early set Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's or something. This is the day she started it, huh? Okay, so that's the memento we need to get going. We need one more. Many long strands of orange hair. What? Oh, her hair, her hair. So she cut her hair herself, good. Yeah. I mean, I cut my hair myself, but that's because I don't, I don't want to pay for it, so I don't care. I know I, I know I botch it up, but <laughs> I mean, like, I don't want to go. I don't know how to ask for a ha haircut in Korean, and I've been too lazy to figure that out. So, <clears throat> okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious to see what's going on here. It's getting more and more interesting. That's for sure. I mean, he had to, you know, I guess deal with an insane wife. For the last uh, couple of years, and then that insane wife decided to die for the sake of a lighthouse. This is where the house used to be, isn't it? The house that never should have been. I mean, really, what is it about this unusually high, dangerous places that attract people? Acrophobia. Like, fear of spiders. Let's see these notes. I feel like these notes aren't really um, that descriptive. They all, they tell all these things that I already know. Oh, acrophobia. Something that Johnny and River apparently didn't have. Okay, that's very insightful. <laughs> Not really. Okay, why would I go here? No, I don't need to go there. I don't need to go there. Let's go this way. No, let's go this way. Let's go this fucking way. There we go. Isn't that why you approached me back then? Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just a part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's not too relevant now, but Izzy said I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. What is that? A hacky sack? Can you throw this as far as where Anya's at? Is that the person they killed? I don't know. You want me to try? What? Would you? Okay, so Anya's not the lighthouse. It's a dead person that he murdered. River. Are you insane? Get away from there! I 
I think this memory isn't too far from the last. I think they may be connected? Probably. I'm so confused! What's going on? I'm not good at piecing things together, dude. Okay, that's a memento. Why did she cut her hair anyway? I like long hair. Okay, let's go. There we go. I'm getting pro at this. Let's go. Everyone with it is different, John. Just because she and I share this syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. But you must be able to help her somehow. Everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before. Even we're in the same room, she never really she's never really there. It's starting to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well, I can't speak for her, but many of us do long for connections. Though, being able to articulate is a different story. Just because she struggles to express it, it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to have faith that she cares. That's pretty difficult to do day in and day out. I know. Wait, but why do you seem so normal, Izzy? I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed when I was still young. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of social norms systematically. But you know what? I both envy and pity River. River. Me, I'm an actress because I've been doing it all my life. Not only on stage, but off stage, and at practically every moment. I've gotten good at it because acting is the only option I have. It's the only way for me to be normal. But River, she never did that. She remained on an outcast and refused to learn to step against it. I don't know if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravery or, bravery or cowardice. There are days when I just can't stand faking it anymore, and then I realize that it's too late. The Isabel that people know is all an act, and the real me has long become a stranger. I think in the end, I just envy her. Yeah. Are they gonna say what it is, or is it just like, just like some obscure mental issue? Like, like, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm. I don't know. The only thing I can think of is schizophrenia. Like, I have a lot of mental disorders in my family, so I know how to identify all these things from personal experience. I guess there's some conditions that it's like no matter what you. I don't know. My, I just have like a lot of anger towards family members that have personally hurt me with mental illness. So I have my own bitterness and, um, I guess, bias. And I know it's awful, but yeah, I know. it's It comes from a personal place and not really like a place of logic. Like I know logically people can't help when they hurt you when they're insane sometimes, but... Uh, I don't know. I'm still like, whatever. Okay, so what is this? Is this like some mental illness that the game made up? 
I guess. Yeah, it's just bringing up some... Ugh. So if I get a little angry, that's that's where it comes from. That's, you know... Yeah. Huh, I've never met a woman with that before. Then technically, you still haven't met one. Ah, this isn't part of your business. Let's move. Yeah, I'm still not sure what's going on here, but... Yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm fearing that they're going into that territory, so let's see how I feel about it. Let's see. Okay, so these shadows are like people that don't matter, that we're not really talking to. Okay, let's see. What's going on here? I want to figure out what the hell's wrong with her. Like, what's going on? Anything new today? No. What are you rereading there? The Emperor's new clothes. I loved this when I was young. Still do, huh? Of course. Well, it does have a theme of delusionment. The Emperor's new clothes, so that kind of makes sense. Just for different reasons. A schizophrenic person probably would relate to that. When I was a kid, I loved the Animorph series. I know your mother gave you a book for, from it as a wedding present. <laughs> yeah, that was one of odd writing present. I guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? Uh. I saw them. They're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I just grew out of them, I guess. I mean, they're children's books. What's wrong with reading children's books? They're comforting. I suppose so. I think I'm gonna get this one. I do have a little more respect for him, though, that he's willing to deal with this, because I would have been like, fuck this shit, I'm leaving. <laughs> uh, living with family members that are out there is not easy. And luckily, she doesn't seem like a violent person, like a violent version of insanity, which is always great. Um, but still, like, seeing someone you care about just not being there is... really sucks. I mean, yeah. Okay, so what are we doing here? We need three more. Okay, so these are the different places he looked. Okay. Okay, we got a memento. Tobias, is, Tobias Hawk, Rachel Grizzly, Jake Tiger, Marco Gris... Gorilla, David, Cobra, Cassie, Wolf. Why? Oh, just wondering. You could have just Googled it. Okay. I'm not yours. You're not mine. Be my anti-Valentine. Hey, River. This one's not that corny. River? Okay, one more. But what about David's? He's my favorite character. Uh, I don't know. What are you talking about? Animorphs, have you read it? No. Yes. Really? Sort of. Ha, <laughs> I used to read Animorphs when I was a kid, too. Uh-oh. Do you know what animals David's man morph? Um... No? It only took me like 29 tries. Oops. Oops! What's this? 
Oh, there's the pickled olives. Oh, everyone's leaving already? But I just got here. <coughs> Seems happy to you a lot of parties. Oh, go save your childish jabs for the insecure. It's pickled olives. Of course. I see le fromage, but where's the mouse? That's the corniest remark you've made all night. Don't you mean cheesiest remark? Wow. <laughs> An aged Animorphs book. Oh, there's a... Uh, what's her face? Huh. What am I supposed to be doing here? What am I supposed to be doing here? I do not know. God damn it, where am I supposed to go? Where am I supposed to go? Let's head towards the lighthouse. That usually helps. That usually helps. Is this their wedding? I think this might be their wedding. Maybe. Yep, this got this has gotta be it. Okay. Uh what's going on here, dudes? Do you feel any different? Now that we got the rings on, I mean? No. Why do you? Why, do you? I mean, actually, yeah, I think so. What is it like? It's just different. Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities? Do you like the name Anya? Would you like to name her Anya? Okay. Uh, a baby? I understand. A baby or the lighthouse? Like. Yeah, I need a good name for her. Hey, come with me. This is so obscure, I can't understand. This can't be a good idea. I'll probably trip and fall. Ooh, don't worry, just follow my steps. Oh, they're dancing. That's not what I would be doing if I was up there. I'd be kissing. I'd be, uh, you know. Ow, my ass! I think you stepped on my toes. Sorry. Come on, let's try again. To promise to love and comfort, to honor, and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live. I do. And do you take this man standing before you to be your lawfully wedded husband? To promise to love, to comfort, to honor, and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live? Yes. By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you Mrs. 
Uh, excuse me, Mr. and Mrs. Wiles. Little did they know that everyone would, everything would suck after that. Ah, the wedding. Oh uh, yeah, what did you think that was? I'm just bad at weddings, that's all. Fluids tend to escape from my eyes. I didn't know you were that sentimental. Oh, did I say my eyes? I meant my mouth. And by fluids, I meant both fluid and solids. That's a lovely image. Thanks, Neil. Come, let's find a way to get out of here. All of this happiness and joy really putting you off too, huh? No, I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I feel right now too. Sheesh, whatever happened to just make, take it moment by moment. Your lives are gonna suck. This is why you should never go back in time. The American dream is dead. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, I'd better go see how your aunt is doing. Alright, Ma. Tell her thanks for coming. I will. I'm so proud of you, Joey. Joey? Oh, that's my grandpa's name. He passed away before I was born. Ma calls me by it as my nickname. How come you never told me about it? Because I'd rather you call me John. Ah, not another sentimental grandpa childhood. What do you have against those anyways? I mean, you sure talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No, I don't. Whatever you say. I'm surprised they haven't even run into any embarrassing moments like them sitting on the toilet, you know, taking a big ol' shit. That's what I would expect them to find. I mean, if you're really gonna pa go back into the past, you're probably gonna see some crazy shit. I guess it's only important memories. I'm so proud of Joey! I'm so proud of Joey! I'm so proud of Joey! Okay. God, I must be PMSing because I really want some of that cake right now. I really want some of the cake. Okay, let's go this way. Maybe. Maybe go this way. Oh, oh, it's getting late, man. It's getting late. And this is where little Johnny was run over. What is this, a turkey in the road? Dead rabbit. Okay. Interesting. It can't be helped, River. I'm sure they didn't mean to. Come on, we're late. What? Is that a rabbit? Think this is the source of all those folded paper ones? That would be weird if this was. Why would she obsess over some roadkill? Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me. You are the woman here. What? That was sexist. I'll be convinced that I'm the only one when you do a cordless bungee jump. It looks like a turkey, actually. It doesn't look like a bunny. Doesn't look like a bunny, y'all. Nice. Okay, now it looks like a bunny. You know, it's a fantastic wedding when the mementos roadkill. <laughs> hey, 
Maybe she saw it as a metaphor for the terrible marriage. So years later, she began floating the rabbits because she was reminded how rotten it was. Or, you know, something equally pretentious. Cool story, Neil. Okay, let's take a break right here because... Uh, my back's starting to hurt. Poor thing, what's with all the road kills these days? Don't you look at me like that. It smells like a farm and roadkill. Deactivate the scent simulator or get away from here already. Okay. 